Welcome back, my amazing third grade artists. Before we begin on our project, I want you to watch this little art video that I created about our next artist we're gonna learn about for our next project. And his name is Pablo Picasso. Enjoy. Welcome back, boys and girls. Now it's time to get started on our next project, focusing on the artist Pablo Picasso, and he was a Cubist painter. What is Cubism? Cubism is a style of art which aims to show all of the possible viewpoints of a person or an object all at once. It is called Cubism because the items represented in the artworks look like they are made out of cubes and other geometrical shapes. Which leads us into our next project, a Picasso rooster. And this is part one. Our learning goal for this project is a painting. And a painting is producing an artwork by applying paint to a two dimensional surface, such as a piece of paper. Our learning targets for this project are, I can create artworks inspired by different artists. And the artist we're focusing on is Pablo Picasso. And also, I can create artwork inspired by my imagination, because we're going to add our own details to our project. The materials you'll need this week are a pencil, a piece of white paper, and a Sharpie. You can also choose to print or download the directions. All right, let's get started. All right, boys and girls, now we're ready to draw our Picasso rooster. And today we're going to draw our rooster on our piece of paper. And I want you to set up your piece of paper horizontal, which is also hot dog style, long way from side to side. And your Picasso rooster drawing is going to be nine steps. And you can find those steps to download or look at, or you can pause the video at any time and restart. Remember, always draw with your pencil first and if, draw lightly, as light as you can, in case you make a mistake and you need to use your eraser. It's because it's a lot easier to erase a lightly drawn pencil mark than it is if you draw too hard. All right, so our Picasso rooster, we have everything set up. And our step number one, we're gonna draw the beginning of the head and it's gonna be over in the left-hand section of our piece of paper. And it's going to just be a curved line and it's going to start and it's gonna go up, curve around and stop. It's like you're making an upside down U. Step number two, we're going to add some zigzag lines to the bottom that's going to create our roost, the bottom of our rooster head and it's going to act as if it's a little bit of the feathers at the bottom. Step number three, we're gonna start on the end of the bottom and we're going to go around, up, on the other side, around and connect. And it's going to connect and it's going to create like a football shape that is going to make the body of our rooster. Step 
step number four, we're gonna start to create the feathers for the tail of our rooster. So we're gonna start a little higher up. So not all the way at the bottom of our tail, but we're gonna start a little towards, a little higher up. And we're going to make another shape similar to the shape that we made for the top of the head. And it's a curved line out. And then it's going to go around and come back. So we're making a thick first layer of our feather. Step number five, we're going to just make another curve line, just making that one a little bit thicker first. Right here, we're going to make another curve line that goes around and comes in, and it's almost looking like we're creating parts of a rainbow. And we have one more little section. So step five has two sections to the feathers and the back of our rooster. Step number six, we're gonna make one big circle in the head of our rooster to create our eye and a little dot in the center for part of our eye. Step number seven, we're gonna create the wing. So we're gonna make a curve line down that scoops up a little and then creates the part for the arm or the wing actually. Step number eight, we're gonna create the legs and the legs are going to come down on both sides and then we're gonna create the leg and the foot. So over here, this is just the top part of our rooster leg. And then we're going to make two lines. And then you're gonna create feet to your rooster. Step number nine, we're gonna add the rest of the details that we need. We're gonna add a beak, we're missing a beak. So let's go ahead and add our beak. And it's like we're adding two little triangles to create our beak. And then we're going to create our rooster puff, little puff off the top of our rooster, and it is just puffy like a cloud. And I want you to create a line right now. It looks like our rooster's in the middle of our picture. We wanna anchor him down. So remember, start in the middle at the edge of our paper. We're gonna create a straight line that stops at the rooster. We don't wanna make a line through the rooster. Stops at the rooster. With our finger, we're gonna imagine where the line might come out. There's a little spot that I think would show there. So if you have a spot where you have to stop, add another one and another one, then that's fine if yours is like mine. If your tail covers and you don't have a little section to add the background line, then that's fine. But make sure that you make it so that it looks like our rooster is now standing on something. And I want you to set it aside for next week so we can start adding color. Time to put your project in your art box until next week. See you next time.